Konnichiwa, snitches. I'm B. This is Bro Takuza. Okay, so our last major PSVR release was Ace Combat back in January, and we've got a bit of a ways to go before our next high profile release. Uh, we've got Sirental coming in May, uh, Everybody's Golf VR, which I'm super excited about, coming this spring. So until then, I thought it would be a good time to look back at the PSVR library to see which games we might have overlooked or just simply passed on that maybe we should give a second look. So this is my top five of the most underrated PSVR games. At number five, Catch and Release. This one was suggested to me by a viewer in one of my older videos, and I was honestly a little skeptical. Obviously it's a fishing game, but if you think all it is is sitting around in a boat waiting for the fish to bite, well, you're right, that's exactly what it is. And developer Metric Minds makes it clear in the tagline that the game is not trying to be anything more than that. It's just you on a lake. And that's what makes it work. Row around the lake, change the radio, sit back, relax, and occasionally snag a fish. If you've had an especially long day at the office and want to unwind with the game, but don't want anything that's too demanding, catch and release hits the spot. At number four, Transference. After experiencing Resident Evil 7, which I still haven't finished because I'm just too scared to, and I'm not ashamed to admit that, I really wanted nothing to do with anything that hinted at even being the slightest bit scary. But learning that Elijah Wood and his production team SpectraVision were behind Transference, I knew I couldn't pass up on what promised to be a VR thriller with cinematic elements. In the end, it isn't so much a horror game as it is an atmospheric psychological thriller. It's set in a corrupted simulation of a troubled mind where you have to play from different perspectives of a dysfunctional family to piece together fragments of their fractured consciousness to unlock the mystery behind this trio. It's very meta, and while it's also very short and not without its flaws, this is a good first step in the game slash movie hybrid VR genre. Pick this one up on sale. At number three, Starship Disco. Beat Saber on PS4 has one glaring disadvantage in comparison to its PC-based counterparts, and that is custom track creation. As much trouble as development team Beat Games has had creating DLC for their own game on PSVR, it's highly unlikely that we'll ever be granted that capability ourselves. Luckily, we have Starship Disco. This rhythm space shooter has you firing at enemy ships to the beat, and the best part is that the song lineup is as long as you want it to be, and it's free. It's easy to import your own music, and if the bass is decent enough, Starship Disco's importer works pretty well. At only 10 bucks, this is a great game to keep you busy during those six month gaps in between Beat Saber DLC packs. At number two, Derasine. Timing really is everything, and Derasine was just on the losing end of it, getting caught in the middle of a heavy hitter release period, being all but buried by the noise from Astrobot, Tetris Effect, and Beat Saber. But this is one that you should definitely go back and check out. In this exploration heavy title, you take on the role of a fairy who roams the halls of a boarding school frozen in time, learning about the students and assisting them in the form of puzzles and revealing a larger story in the process. For me personally, this game was much like Astrobot in that you can't fully appreciate the charm in it just watching someone else play. You have to experience it for yourself to understand why it's such a captivating title. And at number one, Transpose. In terms of sheer joy, this one is up there with Astrobot for me. The way I explained this to a friend of mine was like when Marty McFly in Back to the Future Part 2 went back to 1955 and witnessed his actions from Back to the Future Part 1. In Transpose, you have to work with yourself, many different versions of your past selves, which are called echoes that you have to record in order to solve increasingly difficult puzzles. This is a time, mind, and gravity bending game that is so simple in concept, but so damn fun and complex in its execution. These brain teasers give you such a satisfying sense of accomplishment, and I had a blast with the time manipulation aspect of it. I found myself waving to a version of myself that I hadn't created yet, and then two incarnations later, watching those two previous versions waving at each other. I said earlier that timing was everything with Derasine, but with Transpose, Time is everything, and every second I spent playing this game was pure bliss. Well, that was my top five. I want to know what games you guys think don't get enough love or attention in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be back shortly. But until then, sayonara, suckers.